Hey everyone, how's it going? Got another gig log for you. But dude, a bridal show is in a gig. Did I bring all my equipment? Yeah. Did I perform? All right, I guess he got me. What do you got to say? You know, I still think that this classifies as gig log worthy material because each bridal show is unique and you perform at them. I see people on Facebook constantly ask like what to bring, what to display, what to talk about. And I just thought I would share a few thoughts, especially since it's wedding show season right now. And so bridal shows, they are a great time to network with your fellow vendors. But we have to remember the main reason to be there is to generate leads and make sales. And this particular bridal show is a little bit more intimate as it was hosted by a wedding venue in my area. And my company, we are preferred vendors at this venue and I feel like it's important to show up at their events to nurture the relationship. This was our second time exhibiting at this particular venue. The first time last year, I felt like I brought way too much gear. It looked like a mini guitar center, and I was ready to sell prospective couples some equipment rather than DJ services or a photo booth. This year, I still wanted to represent our brand, but take a more minimalist approach with less gear. Couples know that DJs have turntables or some sort of controller, and I figured that I could just probably do without. And as luck would have it, I was right next to another DJ multi-app company, and they were playing music, so I just kept mine off so, you know, we're not clashing. I think my best piece of gear in my display is my backdrop, which I customized from PB Backdrops. Link in the description below. It's lightweight, it's really easy to set up, and it looks impressive. And this type of frame, a pillowcase frame, is something I already use constantly with my photo booth company. And this branded table is just so easy to set up, and I really enjoy using it. I brought a 43 inch TV on a truss and I feel like it's better presentation than a tablet on a table. And I have a lot of video footage that I've collected over the years. So I was able to compile that into a video which I had playing on repeat and customers liked that they were watching video of my company and our past performances. So I brought the photo booth digital only, no props, no printouts, no backdrop. And I tried to do that so that the focus would be more on the conversation and the couples rather than me acting like a photo booth attendant the whole time, which is what I did in the past. And you know, I think people were more impressed by the photo booth in the past. So maybe this wasn't the right call, but it's what I did. And so, you know, I had business cards and brochures and people at bridal shows, I've found out like they want a bridal show special. So whether it's something small, like a photo guest book experience when they book a photo booth, or a flat percentage, like 5%. Like they want some sort of bridal show special and some sort of incentive to book that day or that weekend. And so people wanna know the pricing. So within my brochure, I included a paper slip with all the pricing. So yeah, the slip was nice because it fit right inside my brochure. I feel like my font size was probably a little bit too small, especially with all the mothers of brides and the grandmas of brides there. All in all, traffic was pretty light at this show and there probably was more traffic at the bigger bridal show across town. And many of the couples that came through were at the beginning stages and not really ready to book. A lot of them haven't even chosen a venue yet. And we haven't booked a single show from that interaction yet. I'm gonna be sending some follow-up emails probably later this week. And while many of the companies that exhibited, I know the owners, a lot of the owners weren't there. And that's probably what I'm going to do too, just send a representative, one of my staff to represent my company and still maintain that relationship with the venue. A lot of people are probably questioning, is it still worth it to advertise at bridal shows in this digital age? And I'm not going to lie, personally, I've had better luck with other avenues of advertising, but I can't dictate whether it's going to be a good ROI for your markets and in your area but I think it's worth a shot. I don't think you need tons of marketing materials to get out there and exhibit at one of these. I think it's good practice to get out in front of the public and present your brand. So what has your experience has been? Have bridal shows been a huge success for you? Let me know if you try a bridal show and what your experience was. Leave your comments, questions, or concerns down below. And like always, please smash like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.